I'm Carol Boucher Duncan and I'm here at the Junction in Wimberley, Texas, owned by my great friends and extraordinary family named the Collies. Let's go meet them now. My name is Devin and I am 15 years old. Hi, my name is Jordan and I'm 14 years old. My name is Jensen and I'm 13 years old. My name is Denton and I'm 12 years old. My name is Branson and I'm 11 years old. Hi, my name is Cameron and I'm 9 years old. My name is Bergen and I'm 8 years old. My name is Kaylin and I'm 7 years old. My name is Hayden and I'm 5 years old. My name is Hanson and I'm 4 years old. My name is Dolphin and I'm 3 years old. <laughs> This is Jaden, and she's one. And this is mommy, and, and she's, uh, uh, I don't know. My name's Bruce Colley, and welcome to Team Colley. Team Colley! Woo! Team Colley! Woo! Bruce Colley was a standout lineman for the San Francisco 49ers Super Bowl teams. Holly Colley was a model. They married in 1990, and now they have 12 children, with number 13 on the way. They live on a large complex in Wimberley, Texas, where they own and run three restaurants. Bruce does virtually everything on the complex, from being landlord to restauranteur to chef. And Holly and the children help out as needed. The family works as a team to get the job done, whatever the job may be. Well, ladies, complaining. She only got Chalupa for the single enchilada, but she came in with this that huge rush and she was behind like six or seven other papers. So she was you a swager? Is she okay? What's that? Bruce built everything on the property with his own hands. The restaurants occupy most of his time, and he is under considerable financial pressure. Like many families today, the Collies are struggling to make it financially, yet the family is closely bonded and very upbeat. The children all show a cheerfulness and maturity that reflects how well they're being raised. While Bruce is immersed in the restaurants, Holly holds down the fort at home. She homeschools all the children and performs all the other tasks of a stay-at-home mom, just on a much larger scale. Holly and Bruce do all of this despite the fact that they have no house. They've converted rooms of the complex into makeshift bedrooms, and their kitchen is tiny. But as Holly and Bruce and the kids have learned, home is wherever they are together. I asked Holly and Bruce, how do they do it, raising such a large family in such a positive way while under so much stress? Holly and Bruce have developed a strong and specific child-rearing philosophy and would like to share those tips with you. But you know how as a parent you teach them something repeatedly and then it still comes up. And I guess that can be frustrating sometimes. You know, it's like, when do you, when does that lesson get learned? Right. Well, we talked about this before. And it's, it's a training. You're training. Like I, that's when we talked about with football. You know, the the continual practice, practice, practice that's going on to make you who you need to be. Bruce was just describing being shown positions. He's in. He was in the NFL when this is happening. You know, he had been playing football for a long time. So he was still being shown the right way to do something. We, we give up too easy anymore yeah, yeah. on our kids, like, we don't want to do it, we, we're done. I've already shown them that, I'm done, I'm done, I've already done that. You know, we don't want to take that, it's just extra effort. It's just, they need it. They need to continue to be shown. You've got to correct that behavior, and, but you do it in a way that says, you are my son, you are my daughter, and you are well pleased. But your behavior right now, 
your choice of action is unacceptable. And for that, you're either going to be disciplined or we're going to talk or we're going to have a, you know. So you separate who they are from what they do. And you know, in football, you got you got out of bounds, you got goal lines, you got goal posts. It's very clear. Everybody sees it. And yet, a lot of times, parents don't realize they change the rules when it's when it suits them, and that causes major confusion with children. Yes. Because, yeah. I mean, like we said, time out, you're never usually in a great situation to start with. It's not like they did something good. Something has happened to cause you to want to put them in time out. So there's already a little, you know, uncomfortable something going on. But what I find is many people that I've seen who put children in time out, the children are, are not behaving when they're in time out. I, I've seen people sh shouting, screaming. They're, they're not learning anything by doing that. That's not teaching anybody anything. If they're sitting there shouting and, you know, yelling and, ah, oh, when can I get out? You know, all that attitude. It's not teaching them how to do okay. better the next time. So